All right, so now we've talked about local. Let's talk about affiliate and you know what affiliate is or affiliate marketing. So this site I've shown you kind of throughout this series a little bit is an affiliate marketing site. What happens is you know I put up this site and I make recommendations for the best Latin dating sites. And then if someone signs up for one of these sites, I could make a commission. Now there's all different ways to make money with uh, affiliate marketing. You can get paid per lead, you can get paid per commission or like per sale or you know uh, certain percentages for commission if someone buys something. So there's all different ways to do affiliate marketing, and each affiliate marketing program is going to have different or each product I should say is going to have different uh, kind of guidelines and you know what they're what they're willing to pay so for example some of these services maybe they tell you every time you get someone to sign up even if it's a free account even if they join for free we'll give you five bucks okay whereas some of them are like well we're only going to give you commission when someone joins but when someone joins you're gonna get 50 percent for example we just had someone sign up for um, eHarmony Latin dating and I think the commission on that was like uh, like 200 and some dollars uh, something like that I don't know because they signed up for a year and it cost them 400 something and I think we made a couple hundred I, I don't know exactly what it was um, but that's what can happen with affiliate marketing is you can recommend services or products and then you can get paid depending on what the terms are for the program it's going to be different for each one so to find out what the terms are you just have to do research now there's different ways to make affiliate commissions and there's private affiliate programs and there's also affiliate networks and I want to explain all this so you know what's going on but through, with all affiliate you make money either you know if someone signs up you get a certain amount of money uh, if it, you know, even if it's free to sign up they can pay you per lead even if they don't spend money so some do that uh, where some a lot of them is like if you if they if you if the person you recommend pays for a membership or buys a product you make a certain commission and all these affiliate programs will tell you exactly what you make in their you know in their terms so for example let's go look at my first um, recommendation here Latin American Cupid and actually I think that's who we're outranking isn't it for uh, best Latin dating sites remember we did that analysis uh, a couple videos best Latin dating sites I think that's who we're recommending yeah, so we're outranking the people we're actually recommending. That's funny. Um, anyways, let's go take a look at their affiliate terms. So what we can do is we can type in Latin American Cupid Affiliate Program. And you'll see right here, here's their affiliate program. So their commission rates aren't listed, okay? So what you have to do is join affiliate program and then sign up with email. And then once you sign up, you'll see what their um, you'll kind of, you'll see what their terms are. All right. And this looks like it might actually be an affiliate network. So the difference between affiliate network and an affiliate like a private affiliate program. A private affiliate program means like whoever the product is under, they have their own program. You sign up and you only promote them. Okay. An affiliate network. Usually a whole bunch of products will list their products on that affiliate network and then you sign up for one network where you can access thousands of products. Okay, So an example of an affiliate network would be like ClickBank, one of the most popular ones for affiliate marketers. Now if you create an account here, you can sign up to be an affiliate of any of the um, uh, products that are in their affiliate network right so like under arts and entertainment you know they have like here's one for pianos for learning the piano here's one for magic tricks here's one for singing uh, you know and that's just under arts and entertainment so what I would do is I was just hit promote I'll put in my account uh, you know my account name so maybe Greg M or whatever I sign up under you can put a tracking thing there generate a hop link and then bam here's your affiliate code okay and then that's if you, you use that to help people to sign up like for example if that was my affiliate code here if someone clicked here see that link in the bottom there see how it's an affiliate link down the bottom left hand of my screen hopefully you can see that well that's an affiliate link just like this over here so what happens is you know you create your account you sign up you get you know then you put in your username and that that tracks any link you create to your username so when someone clicks on this link it takes them to Latin American Cupid under my affiliate. See how it says affiliate equals. This is pretty much code that identifies me as the person who sent them the visitor. 
So then if I you know sign up here and I make a purchase or however they whatever their terms are, um, I'll make a commission from that because my link has been tracked. So again, let me actually sign into one of my accounts here. I think I can remember my password. So let's go to clickbank.com and log in. All right, so I'm in. So my username for this particular account, which I barely use, is called Space Free. All right. So now I'm logged into my account. You can see my username is Space Free. That's just something I created probably 15 years ago. So what I can do now is go and look at the marketplace. And let's say I want to do dating. Okay. So I want to look for dating. Let's just search dating. Okay. So here's an ebook, dating advice for men. Okay. So you can say the average sale you make is 961. Um, let's see. It looks like they pay 85%. So if you make a sale, you make 85%. Okay. So let's go down and take a look at some more. So here's some W or dating advice, dating techniques. Uh, so this particular program looks like no one's actually joining that. Uh, let me see if I can find dating in here where they'll list the most popular ones. Let's see. Where would it, what would it be under? Maybe self help, dating guides, marriage and relationships, maybe. All right, so here's one that's kind of more popular, Unlock Her Legs. So I guess this product is a particular uh, product on how to get women to sleep with you. Um, and it looks like the average sale people are making are about $64, okay? So I can promote this on my site, and it looks like you make 64% of every sale that you make. So let's go to their site and just check it out. All right, so basically, yeah, so it's basically try to get people to, uh, or women to sleep with you. And, you know, so people go through their kind of funnel, and if they end up signing up and purchasing whatever this is, you make 64% of each sale. So if I wanted to put this affiliate link on my dating site, but, you know, I could, like, put it over here, but, like, hey, you're trying to get women to sleep with you. Well, what I would do is I would click on promote. And I would, you know, put space free my account name in there, and then tracking ID. I could do best Latin dating sites, so I know what site it's coming from. In case I have multiple dating sites, then you generate the hop link, and then bam, you would copy this, okay? And then I would just put that, you know, I'd maybe put a link over here or a pop up or whatever, maybe even here. Hey, you want to sleep with women? Click here, and then the click here link would be a, my affiliate link, which would take them to that site. So if I go to a, a, a new browser and I put in the affiliate link I just copied, it's going to take me to their website. And it's going to track. Look, my affiliate code or my affiliate name is tracked in this URL. So if they go through here and they purchase something, I would end up getting commission. Okay, so that's how affiliate uh, works, and this is an affiliate network, uh, ClickBank, and there's many of those. You know, there is, um, you know, like Commission Junction's a big one. Um, there, there's tons of affiliate networks. Let me go do a list: top ten affiliate networks. ShareASale is one I use a lot. You got ShareASale, ClickBank, JVZeus, uh, Commission Junction. You know, Amazon you can even use, which I use, um, it's starting to use more. So there's all different affiliate networks out there that you can join. And the, the plus side to that is it's easier because you can manage everything in one dashboard. Like, you know, if I, let's go back to ClickBank. And then let's go to, let's go, let's go to a different category, maybe business. Just click on the business category. So if I wanted to promote, you know, uh, this program, this program, and this program, what an affiliate program allows me to do, instead of signing up for each of these individually and signing up for three different programs and having to log into three different dashboards, well, I can just log into one dashboard, get my link in here, and I'm good. I get the link for here, and it's good. I get the link for here, and it's good. And it's all tracked in this one login, okay, in this one, one central location. Whereas if these were all individual programs and I wanted to, uh, and I wanted to promote all these, let's say I want to do these nine 
or these 12 first uh, programs you see, I'll have to sign up for this one, have a login for that, sign up for this one, have a login for that, sign up for this one, have a login for that. So you have to sign up for each one individually. The beauty of an affiliate network is it's all in the same place and you just use your central kind of command for all the affiliate program, or all the affiliate products that are in there. And you only have to log into one area, which is ClickBank, to manage all the things you want to uh, promote in there. Now, the upside to private affiliate programs is usually there's not as much competition for them and um, you can usually do better with it. Like, I don't want to say do better, but I'll show you one private affiliate program that I've probably done over a million dollars with, and that's Vapor Fee. All right, so this is a an e-cigarette company, and if we go to their affiliate page here, I've done at least half a million dollars in commission with them alone, maybe over a million. But you can see here's all their terms. But this is a private affiliate program, so if I sign up for this, it's only for Vapor Fee. You know, it's not. There's no other products in there. Whereas an affiliate network will have tons of different products in there. Um, you know, they'll have that hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands like ClickBank. Um, so that's the difference. But private affiliate programs sometimes is like the diamond in the roughs where not as many people sign up for them. So there may not be as much competition for particular stuff and you can kind of, um, maybe there's more opportunities there. But with affiliate networks, it's easier. You sign to one central location and you can promote many different products. But I do both. I do both. It just depends on the products I'm promoting. Once I start ranking well, what I do, usually like I'll use an affiliate network, okay? And then if I start ranking or ranking well, then I start signing up for more private affiliate programs or at least looking for more private affiliate programs. Because usually you can make more money with them. Usually they pay a higher percent. You know, they have better deals for you. They'll give you more tools and all that type of stuff. So. Uh, there, there's downs and ups to affiliate networks versus private. The biggest down to private affiliate programs is if you're joining a lot of them, you get, you're going to have a whole bunch of different dashboards. You know, for example, for my, from when I was doing e-cigarettes a whole bunch, you know, we, were, we were affiliates for 10 different uh, companies, but that's 10, 10 different logins because they're not under affiliate networks. They each have their own private affiliate program. So you got to create an account for each one, log into each, see how you're doing. It's just more of a pain to track. Whereas if they were all in an affiliate network, all grouped to one, I could have just logged into one location, checked all my stats in one screen, and it's just e easier to manage. But again, ups and downs to both. But you can see here's their terms. They pay up to 20% commission per sale. Uh, people get cookied for 365 days. They pay on net 15, lifetime residual. And what this means is, okay, if, if, if you make a sale, you get about 20% commission up to 20%. Probably depends on how much you're referring to them. Cookie 365 means, so when you send someone to their website and your affiliate code is kind of tracked to that, it stays on their computer for a year. So if you send someone, let's say I send someone to their website under my affiliate ID and they don't purchase right away, but they purchase two weeks later, I still get commission, okay? As long as they purchase within the first year. Net 15 just means it's just a payment uh, thing, whereas you get paid after you know 15 days of the sale or whatever it is. And then lifetime residual means this is a really cool one, which has helped me make a lot of money and continue to make residual income. Um, if I still make, I think, over 10 grand a month with them. What that means, any customer you send to them, you, you keep making sales off off um, what they what they buy. So if I send someone to their site and they make a hundred dollar purchase. Let's say I make 20 bucks today, right? But maybe they re-up their e-liquids two weeks later and they spend another 50 bucks, I make another 10 bucks there, okay? A month later, they do a big purchase. They spend 500, I get 100 bucks, 20%. So any customer you send to them, what they keep buying, you keep making commission off that. And that's what lifetime residual means, which is awesome, all right? But you can see, um, here's their here's a little more breakdown. 20% on e-liquids, 50% on starter kits, cartridge kits, and accessories, 10% for all third-party brand devices. Um, and then, of course, you can refer other people and make 5% from everything they do. So that, that's another thing there. Um, you know, they they kind of list all the stuff that they have uh, available for you. And then to sign up, you would just do join now. Okay, and then you would fill out your you know the application and all that. And usually you got to put in like your website and all that, you know, you know your web URL here. Kind of got to tell them, uh, you know, what your website is and how you're going to be recommending people to them. And then they'll either accept or deny you. Okay. 
So that's what affiliate is and that's what affiliate marketing is. Uh, hopefully that gets you a better understanding of it. Again, affiliate is definitely a little tougher uh, because it, it, it's usually you're gonna, you're gonna need a little more to rank, whereas local a lot of times can be pretty easy. Again, you can rank a local site sometimes by just setting it up correctly and then setting citations and that's, you know, that's all pretty much done for you. Citations, you just place an order and they're done. So affiliate is more, you know, you gotta, uh, it's more competition usually. Uh, it's more like uh, you know you got to write better copy. They call it. Whereas like you know, kind of got to sell people. Um, you know you got to do more keyword research and and things along those lines. And usually it takes longer to rank because there's more competition. So affiliate is definitely for more experienced people. I would say I'll get your feet wet with local. Um, if you do start affiliate right away and you don't want to listen to me without advice, at least start with something like this where it's not a, a big term you're going after. You're kind of in a smaller niche, so there's no, not so much competition. All right, so that explains affiliate and affiliate marketing. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next video.